I hope y'all have come up with it. So soon, I wanted to chat with you for a minute. Um, we've got the awards in order from honorable mention, working all the way up to our best of show. And I know that you prepared some comments on the top six pieces. Is that correct? Yes. Wonderful. So if you want me to hand out that first group, those first six before we get to, we've got all the merchandise awards and the others. I'm happy to do that. <clears throat> all right. Tag team from there. Does that sound like a plan? Yes. And I would love for you to just say a few words before we start giving the awards. If you could talk to the people online and in the gallery about your process in choosing this show and then your process in how you came to decide on some of the awards. And then we can talk a little more specifically about certain pieces as the awards go out. Uh, so should I talk? Yes, please. Okay. I would love uh, oh, this is a recording, so I cannot make kind of crazy talk. So I have to say very carefully because <laughs> I don't want people to think I'm crazy, uh, which I am a little bit kind of bordered. <clears throat> um, I think it's when I received, I think it's Rocky Mountain um, show is kind of quite strong show because I enter every year. I remember, but I think it's uh, um, Whatever happened, I think it's when they were in Gordon, Colorado, I always enter and and I think after they moved to Evergreen and I, I don't know what happened. I think it's after COVID, we don't know what happened. And I think it's a, we just kind of didn't do it. And I thought, uh, I just kind of uh, fizz it off and it's like I enter again. And I always remember Rocky Mountain was kind of quite strong show. And I always like, ooh, should I? I'm not sure I always got in or not. Maybe I shrunk some time. I don't know. And you know, it is what it is. I cannot just kind of uh, do anything. Just like everybody else. If I get in, oh, whoopee. And I say, if I don't get in, and I try not to feel bad about it. Okay. That's my idea of a show when I enter. And uh, uh, just like everybody else, I am one of them, like uh, you guys. I entered the show and I try to uh, be, put myself out meeting friends just like you. So when I have a, a so when I get a, a digital image from the Rocky Mountain, of course, it is strong show. And I have to kind of uh, eliminate some of the obvious ones that I just wanted to drop and I will drop it. And then I have just kind of, usually what I do is digital, I just kind of go through many times as much as possible. And it's obvious on our drop day, but it's, I will just keep looking, looking, looking. And some point when they say, I need the slide uh, the decision tomorrow, then okay, then I make decision, okay. So at the point, I am not lucky enough, I will drop, okay? If, if I'm lucky enough, I will in. I'm, I'm in because, not because one of them is better than other. That's the time I just kind of have to put it in. And that's why I always say, and during the show, don't put your life into it because it's not always the painting is better or worse. That's why you get in or not because, you know, it's just, my personality comes out it, and it's like my laziness sometimes comes in. Sometimes, who knows? Like, oh, I didn't want to delete this one, but I delete it. Who knows? But I'm, I'm not gonna go to Coursera. I made a mistake because I wanted to put this thing in, but it's like, you know, I said, oh, I just forget it, and I would just go on. So, you know, things happen, and I think that's why when I started judging the show, I just kind of don't put too much stress on I'm getting or I'm getting an award, not getting in, that kind of stuff. I do it because I want to be part of it because I want to be part of the art world, like uh, in the United States. I want to be part of the um, Rocky Mountain. So I enter because I don't enter everything, but it's, I enter some of them because I wanted to be part of the group. And I love Rocky Mountain because it's not just only watercolor itself. It has so many different medium, like a, a other medium comes in. And I think that's kind of fun to see it. So after that, I send it to Sarah. I think it's a kind of final day. And I had to go to uh, Evergreen to uh, select a, a word. And I think selecting award was actually kind of quite hard when I was at the um, 
the center because there are so many beautiful paintings. But I have to choose some painting that stand out to me, not to anybody. Maybe it's like I'm always like controversial when I choose a better festival show. And everybody say, what in the world she's thinking? That's what most of the time that people think. But at the time, it touches my heart. That's my decision. Not because something is great about something, something is great about something, because at the time it touches my heart. And usually sometimes it's different from among everything. It's the last of a thing. I think it's usually I tends to go and kind of give me some kind of a feelings of uh, some different than the rest of the thing. So, you know, is it, does it mean is that I have a feeling all the time? Every time I go to a different show, depends on what kind of a, a painting is surrounded by me. So surrounded, I, my decision is my tends, my decision tends to change from that group of the painting, not because I don't have set of my mind like, uh, okay, I have to have this kind of a competition or this kind of color, what, what, what has to be detail, has to be loose. I don't have that kind of thing. It just has to touch my heart when I see the painting. And I just kind of eliminate things. And at you know, some point, so I just have to make a decision which one I wanted to keep it because there's so many paintings I wanted to keep it, but it's like, I have to pull it out because they're, they're stingy. They're not giving enough uh, awards. So I have to take it away, okay? So that was the decision I made it. And it's like, I was kind of looking through or the painting, I just kind of come uh, looking at, looking back and looking back and looking back. So sometimes there's a kind of some painting stands out among that I kind of picked out uh, most of the painting. And that's where, that's how I select the painting to best show to go something different. And sometimes I look for something that technique is somehow a little different from I usually see or <clears throat> something just kind of superbly done. Or sometimes, it's sometimes, I think sometimes I, I see is kind of, and I think it's only I see when I see abstract, it just become too crazy, but it's like so good kind of a thing. So I just kind of go through that process. So I will not say this one same thing in another show, but when I was at the Evergreen, that was my feeling. So if you look at the, uh, which one is best of shows, kind of, Chin up like this. Close your chin, okay? <laughs> yes, Thank I you. love that painting. Okay, so. Thank you, Soon. What I'm gonna do for everyone online, I'm gonna share my screen so that we can show the images. Right. And soon, feel free to jump in. Like I said, we're gonna start with honorable mention. And since right. I only asked you to comment on the top six, feel free to jump in if you'd like. Otherwise, we'll go through those first ones. And then when we get to the top six, you can chime in with your comments. All right. All right. Oh, hold one second. I might have you have this show right Isn't this grand that we have this Zoom? Keep talking for a minute. Well, I think it's All right. How do I switch? So sorry, everyone. I don't have to switch the host. I can't share your screen. No, Okay, we figured it out. We're back. All right. <laughs> Well, all right. All right, here we go. 
Then you can see it on the screen as well. I don't think the image here is much. She is from other states. So our next honorable mention. Hey, Sarah. Sorry. Yes. Image is not on. What's that? Image is not on the computer. It's not showing? It's not showing. Hang on. You need to make a speaker's mode. Oh, so you are speaker's mode. Hang on. All right. Sharing screen. Okay. How about oh, now? Yay! Got it? Yes. Yay. Okay. So our next honorable mention goes to Diana Mopati for dancing in the wings. If you're in the gallery, that's over here on this wall. And I'll flip to it on our screen as well. Maybe. There we go. This is a beautiful abstract around this wet side of the wall. So congrats. We're going to do a cross the wall. And we have some special merchandise for boards to get merchandise done. So we've got it by lots of our companies. Um, this one is from Golden Artist Colors. And this is presented to Nancy Stark for New York Central Lightning Strike. That's on the back wall in the gallery. The amazing train done in acrylic back there. And there it is on the screen as well. Then our next merchandise award, and if you are here, please grab me, wave, jump up and down, because I was in the gallery and don't know all the artists who came through. The next one is the M Brand and Company Merchandise Award. It is presented to Elaine Daly Verma for the Shakes Things Cake. That is the abstract on stage behind the screen. And I will flash to it online as well. There we go. The next one, I know this artist is here. I'm hopeful that she's still here. This is the Guy Reed Award uh, presented to, no, oh, she's online. I forgot. Mary Lynn Benny for Bella and the Bear. Bella and the Bear, a wonderful piece on the back wall around the corner. There's that. Congratulations, Mary Lynn. We see you on Zoom. The next one is the Football Art Explorer Award. And Carla, I didn't forget your last name, right? I think you're here. It's for Carla Stolten. And it is bracelets and flowers. Carla, are you here tonight? Yeah, I thought she might be. Right. We're moving to Carlos here. There we go. This is Carla's painting. Yeah, just let it. Sorry for the pause. We're letting some more people in who join. Okay, so that was the Foothills Art Explorer Award. I think I can. Our next one is the Chief Joe's Art Jazz Merchandise Award. And this goes to Jake Dodger for Patsy. Patsy is up on the stage in the gallery. And then Nico is going to double click on it here. Which one? Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. The next one is the Clip Art Materials Merchandise Award. And this one is presented by a very faster, but I think he's online. It starts to be very well made for Free Roses. Free Roses is up on the stage. <laughs> the next one is the Casey Snow Art Society Award, and that's presented to Steve Blow from Slide Over Cloud College. Slide Over Cloud
The next one is the upgrading physical therapy specialist award, and it is presented to me heading up which is the news on the wall over here to my right. Next one is the Cherry Tree Training Award. This award goes to Rakeem Dots for Port Side Afternoon. That painting is over here, also to my right, and is above three. Next one is the Woven Goods Award. It is presented to Jean Wayne Hill for Lime and the Coconuts. Lime and the Coconuts is on the back side of this cut wall right here. The next one is the John and Laura Erlinson Award. And I know this was here. Uh, this award goes to Prince for Lemon and Gold. Thank you. 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 My daughter is right back there with her. Mm -hmm. My daughter lives in Colorado, and she has been in Rock Mountain National Water Media at least three years in a row now, but not many more. Mm -hmm. She has never been to Central Media or ever been in that person until last year. And then with her daughter being here in Congress, and the wonderful excuse for her to come in person. That was here. So, welcome to the whole island. <laughs> The next award goes to the Colorado Watercolor Society Award. This goes to Jessica McCoy. I think Jessica is online. This is for her page in German, which is that here with the inscription that from where I am. The next one is then soon we are at the place where we are at the top six that I asked you to speak about. So I will announce it and then I would love to hear your comments. And I know I'm going to get the gallery and online with as well. Okay. So this is the Alexa Interiors Award. It is fifth place in the Rock and Mountain National Water Media Show. And this award goes to John Fahey for primitive expectations from the plateau. Oh. And soon, I'm going to give it to you to talk about that one. Okay, um, I gave this one. I think it's a, um, when I pick all the award, as I say, I could pick anything for the mix and match, and I could just have like a um, like a raffle ticket. Okay, one, two, three, four, okay, so just like that. But I have to make decisions. So this is the decision I got. And every one of them, I, I have an idea why I picked and I, I just love that each one of them. But this one, I see the um, kind of a, it's beautifully executed painting for uh, first of all. And I think it was a kind of subject matter was for me is uh, um, kind of quite distinctively different than is what I've been seeing. And this one is probably uh, people from high mountain, Nepal or Tibet, I'm not sure. But I, uh, I've been seeing, I wanted to go there because I've been seeing their life. It's not that easy living up there, but you know, so they're uh, enjoying their, I think this is some kind of a, a kind of a festival or ceremony or something. And they're just kind of having all those kind of clothing. And uh, uh, I see their, I think it's when I see their face, I think this kind of living condition is very dry. And I think this painting shows the dryness. And I think it's their expression of, I think it's just kind of, it's, I don't know, it's not laughing, it's not sad, but I think it's kind of a little bit of contentment because I know their life is not easy compared to what we have, what, how we live here, but they're just kind of enjoying the day of like kind of daily life. It is what it is. And I just loved how that um, person actually captured this uh, situate kind of this uh, image. And I think it's very well executed. So that's what I have. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that one. The next one is the Chiba Florida Award. 
Sheila, and I'm going to have a lot of people who want to be here today. I know she's here tonight, and we are so grateful for her sponsorship. This is the first place award presented to Stephen Morris from Net with Purple Polka Dots. It's in the back corner from the media in the only corner from me. And soon I'll be at that level soon. Okay, um, I gave it this one first, uh, first place because this painting uh, gave me a almost chair to my spine because it's so delicate and this person executed so delicate way and it's like the toy is not even misplaced. It's just kind of they're random, but it's kind of every one of them. I, when I see it, I, I know that I couldn't do it. I am very tight painter, but it's, I'm not an organized painter. I organize in a way, but it's a, when I see twig, it just give me a, it just kind of, my body just kind of a little bit twisted because I cannot follow this lines. It just, they just kind of follow that uh, rhythm. And this person even follow, and it's kind of so well executed doing all those little details. And it's so elegant and so delicate. And I think it's putting this uh, composition little over kind of left up, uh, kind of away from center. But it's when I saw it and I'm, I thought it's almost like, oh, that's so pretty. I think that's how I feel. So, and it's very, I don't know, I couldn't do it. So I thought I, I was admiring it. So it was kind of very nice. I love it. Thank you. So I moved to more to the third place. This is the Picture Rocker Fest Absolute Award. And soon had title selection of what we would see choose from. Uh, this is for Orange Skies by Pat and Pat. I never say your last name right. I apologize in advance. I'm going with Moisty. Moisty. I don't know, and I really apologize for butchering your last name, but your artwork speaks for itself. It's beautiful. So, soon give us your thoughts on more stuff. Um. It's so funny because uh, when I uh, select the uh, painting or nor uh, when I give an award, I never read title. And when I read this one, Orange Skies, it just kind of makes sense. When I saw this one, I like the kind of the, it's, it's just kind of, there's a lot of little detail going on. But it's the boldness of it. That half of, a little less half of that orange on top and this kind of almost bluish dark on the bottom. And I think that one was kind of broken off by a little kind of window or door, kind of orange and lighter blue. And it's kind of a little off the orange. It's just kind of breaking off this one very sensitive way. And I think it's just kind of end. It's kind of lighter blue. And I think it's um, that reflection of the orange on the behind it. It's kind of breaking off things very, um, nice way and it's kind of I love the competition of it and I think it's that um that how they place the um uh, the color composition and that's almost like complementary color but it's very sensitive way this person uh, uh applied it and then I love the touch of their orange here and there and red I don't know what the letter is but it's just kind of Instead of just kind of clean cut, this one is kind of a little messing it up, but it's just about right. So I like that this painting. Thank you for that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, this award goes to Olga and Alexi Ivanov for the painting of Silver City. Olga and Alexi, I know you all know that Tina did this during an award selection of wine. So she did not know this, but Olga and Alexi are heavily in residence. So we are really thrilled about the fact that they are some of our homegrown heroes were awarded in the show. And soon I'll let you talk about this piece. I just love you all to know that Olga and Alexi work side by side to the other two big on their paintings. Rocking the National Water Media is one of the few shows that allows a lot of the work to be entered. And their process is so interesting. And we're so angry because we haven't played it in a long time. Let's see how we can talk about this piece. They would be here, except they have an evening. 
And they would be here tonight and we have an opening in Santa Fe tonight. Thank you for that. And I know we have Jane and the and the teacher I work with stepping on their lead Okay, so I'm done talking. Okay, this is my turn. All right. Um, I I didn't know this title was a silver city, and then I see a city on the behind. But anyway, I I don't know how this person painted this, but it's just kind of so beautiful. And I think it's you know I think it's ice. Kind of so one of those kind of uh, wonderful and beautiful uh, portraits that I seen, and you know. I don't know how this person chose this model, but I think this model is beautiful. And uh, that hat was, everything was so beautiful. And I think I heard this one is mixed media, which is like egg, egg tempera. Maybe that's why this person was able to execute this one. So um, it's kind of uh, the shade of that dot. And I think it's egg tempera must to do it. But it's a smoother area. It's just kind of hair and uh, uh, you know the straw hat. I think the straw must be hat, and I think it's the uh, quality. And, and I think that uh, technique of the, the painting just for me uh, struck uh, in that way. And you know I couldn't do it. Usually I couldn't do it, so I selected. <laughs> I couldn't do it, and I selected more. It's beautiful penny. I loved it. And I remember this person has a, a, this style overall. I think it's, it's kind of even, I, I remember the digital, I, I had a hard time which one I wanted to pick. Both of them was just awesome, beautiful. Thank you. Oh. Okay, so this award goes to a Colorado artist. I don't think Diane is here tonight. It is for Diane Hawkins. Thunderbird. And I'll let you talk about it, please. All right. Now I see it, and it's, this is watercolor. I thought this might be gouache or some sort of a, a mix, mixed media. I... I love this. This is not a big painting. It's a little painting. It's, I thought it was a gem because this, uh, what I loved about this person actually executed the mountain and sky. I think sky might, might be not much better, but I think it goes together. There's the mountain, you know, the, I, think I call it mountain and that uh, lake probably. It just chose different way. The technique was so unique and it's first time I ever seen. And I thought, you know, this is the painting. When I saw this one, I'm like, hmm, I think I could paint mountain that way. That's what I thought because I, you know, it's so, it was very elegant, executed. It's kind of exquisite. And it's kind of, this one doesn't, this picture doesn't show the real painting. The line was so fine. And I think it's a draw every line to create that a uh, rock, each rock and each, uh, each layers of a different, uh, Bali and it's kind of tree and I thought this was so different from every landscape I have ever seen so I love the painting and I thought it was quite a gem so and I want to paint just like that if I paint landscape so there we go and then we have Jane I'm going to let one more person into the waiting room or from the waiting room who just logged in. Last word is our best of show. Again, I will reiterate the fact that this is blind award period because this is also an integrated model of the artist. Um, best of show goes to Warren Zimmer for Land of Enchantment in the Wagon Mountain. <laughs> Oh. And we would love that you know, everybody is so eager to hear from soon about the selection of the show. Thank you. Uh. Uh, I can look at this painting. 
all day long. And I actually, I can't even uh, think about this painting in my dream. It's so peaceful and bold. You know, so when I have the bold painting, I, I think of it as kind of quite a strong color or contrast or something. And this one has a very, um, it's kind of um, color wise, it's not just kind of contrast, but it's just very subtle and give me all that peaceful. And as when I, when I read title of this one in the kind of first time I read it, I'm like, mm, that sounds good. Like land of enchantment. I think that's perfect title. And this person has a discordness, but it has a touch of, I don't know, that's a horse or oh, I think it's a horse. And look at the moon, it's on top of the, the grayish, it's just kind of little moon is sort of hanging on the, you know, that he, top of the mountain, I call it. And for me, this painting is, I think something so different from all the painting that I saw there. And I grabbed this painting from the beginning when I was selecting it. And I remember it was the three of them was very similar. And I had to choose one. And this is the one that I chose. And when I went there and I saw the real painting, it didn't change my mind because it was so, I think it's a, kind of a Derricker. I think it's a, I call it like, it's almost like, a director and it's like, uh, it's giving me a calm and the serenity, serene and peace. Everything I desired in my life is, was in this painting. And I want to paint like this. And of course I don't paint like this. And I was admiring it after a lot of time. And that's why I chose painting for the best of show. So I hope uh, this person is certainly has his own way of a style going on. And I think it's just wonderful. I love it. And it's just beautiful painting. And I think so everybody should have this painting in the, uh, their, uh, one of those corner in their house. I think it's just such a sweet, free, um, calm painting. I loved it. And I just cannot say much. I think it's just kind of going up and higher and I have nothing much to say. I just love it. I think that's all I can say. So I love the painting and it was certainly, and I think it's, I know why I didn't see this painting a lot of watercolor show because this one is an acrylic and uh, maybe that's why it was different. I don't know, but it's certainly we can make this kind of painting with the watercolor too. I know for sure. And we might have to use a little bit of a gouache or something, but certainly we can paint this one. And this person has a, that little touch. And I think it's just very sensitive. Um, I just, life is just so beautiful in this painting. And it just kind of gave me a um, great joy. So that's why I chose for the best of show. Make sense? <laughs> That's it. And every painting was beautiful. Everybody just kind of, uh, everything, every one of them has a story that I love, I love about. And. Well, Sue, we can't thank you enough for your time and participation and giving of yourself as an artist and as a juror. We are so grateful for the time that you've been and thank you for being here with us tonight. Thank you. And. Uh, I'm going to enter, you know, Rocky Mountain too. So it's kind of don't flunk me, flunk me at least. So, <laughs> so I will join you guys. Yeah. It's kind of in the future, okay? And when you said that it's going to make each one of your painting on the wall, that's the perfect segue. We have sold five of the 62 pieces in the gallery already tonight. If you love love, we are also here to sell our funding opportunity. So, you know, if you're dreaming about life like Sue Warren was, and you can't have a so thank you all for coming tonight. That is kind of hard to get. It's good because. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Thank you. everybody. Hey, hey.
Mark that photo. Okay. Well, not tonight, but on Monday. Thank you guys again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are we signing off? Yeah. 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 All right. Bye, everybody. I thought I did leave on mine, but I guess, yeah. yeah. yeah.